Okay, so, again. Uh, this is very hard. This game. Uh, still trying to figure out how to get the uh, plates for my ship because I don't know how I craft them, but you know. I'll figure it out somehow. I'm just gonna explore for now. It's more Hegelian. Oh, look at that, there's like a, a beacon. Ooh, exciting. This is the new save thing, isn't it? Yeah. This broadcast. The Broad Mountains. Nice. What is this? It's lighting up. Uh, okay, something. Cool. Uh, oh, maybe I can take over these bases. Uh, what? Okay, this, that's very useful. Why was I able to go in there? Can I scan you? Tosa la suarea. Isotope stamina. That's a new one, I think. Ah, it's 50%. Cool. I scan for more things. Is it cool? Ah, let's go. Let's go home. Uh, yeah. Four. Less than four minutes. Yeah. Whoa, look at those! Are they like transport ships for material? Let's go over this. I have enough jet fuel. You can do it. There we go. So, yeah, this game is beautiful at night. Clear night sky almost. Some black clouds. I mean, this planet has a lot of carbon dioxide minerals and such in it. And they have animals literally eating raw iron. They probably poop out. Biggest smoke screen ever. And yeah, they're cute though. Very cute. But I wanna, I wanna try and find one of those planets that you see in the trailer. The huge, like, dinosaur looking creatures, aliens, because that's what I've been thinking of whenever I've been thinking of this game. That is my goal, that is one of my squad goals with me and my ship. I'm going a bit crazy because I'm alone, I don't have that red orb anymore, it just left me. He probably didn't like me anymore. You wanted a new partner. Our relationship didn't work and uh, yeah. stuff happens like that. Uh, so yeah, let's go back to the ship and not think about my ex anymore. My ex orb. Let's get this plant. This blue, blue plant. I don't Good stuff. Yeah. Platinum. Platinum. Cool. I could, use, I could you'd really use some platinum. Have I scanned you already? I think I have. Haven't I? Please? Yeah, I probably have. Uh, I wonder if these, like. Oh, well, five other creatures come out at night, maybe. Oh god, that sound was a bit unnerving. Well, can I scan you? Yeah, I can. Mushrooms! They're just mushrooms. Runetrosa Fimum Fierus. Oh, I feel like I'm in a Harry Potter movie. <coughs> yeah, I was saying all these weird names. Oh well. I like discovering new names, it's just if they are too weird and have letters that don't really fit together when you say them out loud, it gets a bit hard. 
a bit weird. I mean, I can see this like there's like a, a manufacturing facility over there, three minutes away. So what I'm thinking is, go to my ship, replenish my. Uh, I don't even need, know if I need to replenish anything. Life support. Oh my god, look at this. Let's use some carbon. Yeah, I don't even need to. All right, let's just go there. Right off. Because I'm thinking. All right, here's my hypothesis. If I can go there, I might be able. Oh wait, can I scan this? No. I might be able to craft the plates that I need. This is beautiful. Look at that. Can you imagine this container? This whole container contains like one word. It has one single word from a distant alien language. You know, this game reminds me of a lot of games that I've played. Uh, I have this FTO game called uh, Out Somewhere or something like that. And it's like an FTO style thing where you have to explore the galaxy and try to get to a planet. Oh god, I'm dying. And try to get to like a planet that you were on a, a colony or something with. And on the road, you have to get fuel, get materials, get upgrades, and so on. And, and it looks exactly like this interface, like th this uh, inventory screen, except you only have your ship's inventory. That's very cool. I, li I like that ax aspect because it limits your options. That's very challenging. At least, because like I have a very hard time deciding what I should bring, what I should just leave, and I've just cornered myself. I think if I can get this here, that would be fantastic. There we go. Thank you. And Starbound, because of the random generation and all. I mean, you can build in that game, but in this one, it's just exploring and finding and upgrading, which is all right. You know, it adds up with everything. That is beautiful, look at that. That looks very menacing. Um, that looks like a huge radioactive cloud. Yeah, take a deep breath, man. Just do that. I like how the character has like these small sound effects that it does whenever he's tired or he's cold. I wonder what sound he makes if he's warm. Too warm. What's that? Shelter. Alright, let's go there if uh, the temperature gets too... You can already see it's starting to tick down. Is this still the manufacturing facility? I think it is. Uh, oh god, what was that as a sound? No, oh, we went past it. Oh, what the fuck, man. Alright, fine. <laughs> oh god. It seems like we have a clear path there, so let's just run and use our jetpack. This is a very emotional game because it brings out a very calm thoughts. Oh god, oh god, oh god, don't die, don't die, please, 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 there we go. Very reckless, <laughs> I can just keep falling down everywhere and hurting myself like a professional space explorer. Um, which I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to be better at navigating this game. Because I know I'm gonna run into very, very big holes. You know, like I usually do. And, uh, okay, that's fine. That's fine, woman. You just keep doing what you do, and I'm just gonna keep running. Yeah, you just said that a minute ago. Please leave me alone. I know I'm almost dead. Well, not almost, I'm like 75% there. 25%, sorry. I'm still baffled by this game, it's very nice. Yeah. I mean, a bit, like, a couple of months I've been playing a game called Pulsar. 
because of me wanting to play this game, so I like filled that gap until No Man's Sky come out, came out with that space exploration game. And it worked to a degree. Until like No Man's Sky's release was very close. Because you could explore, you, you actually had like a crew steering a ship. And that was very neat. Um, let's see if I can save here. Because what I'm guessing is that I'm gonna respawn when I if, if I die. Yeah, maybe one crossing. I've already been there, haven't I? Yeah. Uh, let's see if I can get in. Can I let this cargo drop? Oh, isotopes. Please, can I get in? If I. Oh, journey milestone? What's this milestone about? Travel. Oh, yes. Wow. <laughs> that didn't really feel long at all. Are you gonna be mad at me if I destroy this? I can't even destroy it. Oh, this this journey was for nothing. Uh, you know, uh, I think our last resort is just to uh, die, maybe. Wow, look at that, I can mine in the ground, in the actual ground. What was the treasure you talked about? Oh, the aluminium. Yeah, let's mine all of these crystals. Let's not let this overheat. Because I think aluminium is kind of rare, and I want to pick up as much as possible with it. This is sort of a, a weird planet to have spawned in. There's just so many gaps and holes and crevasses and everything. And I'm probably gonna die of frost damage right now. Soon, at least. If I can get to that shelter, maybe. There's five fucking six minutes away. There's two, yeah, I think we have to aim for, aim for the ship. I think that's our best option. I, go through here. I didn't know this game was going to be this survivaling, but I like it. It keeps that sense of danger that you always have to be on the run. Uh, which is nice in some cases, but when you just want to walk around and, you know, take in the scenery. It's kind of a hindrance, but it's, it's not that bad. It's nice. It gives you that feeling that you're alone in space and you have to you have to manage yourself. You have to scrape up whatever you can, whatever you can find. And use it for yourself and your survival. Uh, you know, and and the thing with the scanning and stuff it helps a lot. If you like can't find people. Uh, I just scanned the Mimitea Alpha Seo. That's a new one. You know, we've seen it a lot, but I haven't scanned it before. I know it keeps telling me to craft that cha charite sheet. Well, it's got one thing right, and that's that it's shite. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 but I can do this, I can do this game. You don't need me to tell. You don't need to tell me that. Wait, is this a new one? No, already discovered. Age, it's mature, it's symmetric. What does that, what does that mean? Is it like a triangle? Bad joke. Ah, uh, yeah. I think we have to uh, consult Google on this one because I simply can't find out anything. Repair. Charite. 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 Charite sheet. How to craft charite sheet. Uh, yeah. This is gonna be fine. 
Uh, all right. All right. The la all right. The launch thruster requires four carrier sheets. Oh, all right. <laughs> so I was right. It says that I need iron. Iron. So I just need to mine iron. Damn, I knew it looked like some sort of, some sort of like metal thing. What am I talking about? Of course it's made of metal. But yeah, it's not made of titanium, nothing like that. It's just iron that I have to mine. So I need to find those stalactites. Inventory full. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, fuck off. Yeah, oh, okay, okay, okay. Let me mind this thing. Okay, good. Let's see, uh... Okay, let's do that. So I can, I can have them all stacked up. I need a lot of iron for just one thing. So uh, I think uh, this is this is where to go though. I definitely need iron for it. How much iron do I have now? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, I have oh my <laughs> okay. What can I can I still not craft it? Is it is there some restriction for me crafting it? Maybe. Uh. What? Move and stack. No. Can I? Do I need to like do this? In here. Get that into my inventory. Click on an empty slot. This is an empty slot, you slut. I'm bummed. <laughs> I don't know what to do. <sighs> oh my god. Protection falling. Uh, all right. Okay. Selecting one of the grey cog icons where you have any spare space in your inventory and selecting craft product. I am so stupid. <laughs> I am the stupidest person in the entire world right now. Look, I can just craft it. Can I move this and stack it? Move and stack. Oh my god, I am so dumb. I just need four, look at that. I did it. Uh repair. I need two more. That's that's nice. I, I can make two more. No, I don't want to do that. There we go. I have zinc, I have iridium heridium. There we go. Listen to that. Refuel launch thrusters. Yes. I finally made it. <laughs> oh man. I need to refuel. I need energy for that. Thamium. Oh my god, I need to go and find some energy. Some energy things. Where is it? Can I find something here? Can I do that? Do that. Uh, another milestone. Starship repair, yes. Game, rub it in, please. I've been trying so hard. 
Well, next time, we're gonna fly into space.